Cheers. Cheers for organizing yeah. our lives. This video is by far the most popular one on the channel and I wanted to include this comment today because she tried the tips and they worked. I have used these tips in all of the small spaces we've lived in and I will use those same tips in our new studio apartment and in the new studio apartment series. So stay tuned. I'm going to help you transform your small space too. And our TSD project spotlight goes out to this art closet. She said that after she took the time to get it organized, she's already feeling so much more creative and that is exactly what organizing will do. It will help you in all aspects of your life. You did such a great job. And if any of you guys wanna share your projects with me, you can tag me at the suitcase designer on Instagram for adding a third video to the week every Sunday. And that will be my own personal series. But now back to my friend Daria's house. You have been waiting for this episode in her series. Today we are finally tackling her kitchen. And to Daria's credit, her kitchen didn't always look like this, but sometimes we all have those days. And this was just one of those days for her. My studio apartment right now is looking a little bit like that too. So there's no judgment. I totally understand, but we are going to restore a sense of calm for her. I often find in rooms in our house is that if we don't take the time to thoughtfully organize for a system that works for our lifestyle, things just kind of end up like this. They don't have a home, so you just cram them in wherever you can find a space for them. And chaos produces more chaos. If there's a system that's not working and you're just shoving things everywhere, you're going to continue throwing things everywhere, or leaving trash on the counter because it doesn't have a home. And that's what I want to do in Daria's kitchen is give everything a home so that it never gets back to this state again, so that it's easier for her to manage, so it's easier for her family to know exactly where everything goes and most importantly, just so that she is calm in her mind once again. But as we do this, we're going to consider her family and their needs and the care she has um, these, what are these called, like cookie cutters for Jumuk Bops for her boys. And she likes that they're at the right height for her. So in this kitchen makeover, we are going to focus on making sure it works for her family. And that's why I love whenever the client is involved in the process because we're going to create a more effective system. It doesn't always work whenever an organizer or designer just comes into the house and does everything for the client because that's not going to create change within them. You have to be a product part of the process if you're available to be, and that is more of a guarantee that your system is going to work. So you can see Daria's started organizing her space, but she just could never find a system that worked for her. So we have medicine mixed with candy and candy mixed with, you know, medicine and rice and just kind of it's all piling up and it's not working. So we are going to make it work for her start I want to show you a couple of things I think you might find interesting so in Korean apartments we don't typically have washing machines no dishwashers that's what these are called but we do have some that sit on top of your countertop so this is what Daria has in her house and you obviously have to buy this it's an extra appliance you can set there but it's just very different from what you might be used to if you're from America. And then the drain goes right here to the sink. And then another interesting thing is a kimchi fridge. I haven't shown one because we haven't had any clients that have them yet, but hers is a built-in style kimchi fridge. And those are all of the containers and it's saved at the right temperature. And that's what she's finished down there. But this is an extra thing in your kitchen that you would have to consider having if you live on the other side of the world and you consume a lot of kimchi. So I just thought this was fascinating and that because we're focusing on a kitchens in Korea, we should probably share with you some of these. So this is the space I'm going to share with you first. We're going to start tackling this is where there are a lot of tools. There are a lot of books because she needs different school supplies here there's craft supplies there's cds there's miscellaneous objects all up in here so we are going to start by taking all of this stuff out actually pause first we're going to start by cleaning off the countertop so we 
so that we don't mix in any of this other stuff that we're going to be pulling out of the cabinets. But now we're going to start pulling out all of this stuff. And because Daria had already attempted organizing her closet, she has a lot of great pieces. We're just going to try and reuse them in different ways so that it makes more sense. So this is something I want to especially highlight. These are books that her boys use and they're already divided between each boy. And this system was working for her. So we're going to leave the books just like they were. And this is another thing where April's having to learn. As I was organizing this, Dari was telling me, that's not gonna stay like that. My boys will never keep it like that. So eventually I just kind of gave up and left the school supplies, the little blue thing. We just left it like that. Um, these are games that she has and though it's not completely like a hundred percent easy to get to, it's easy enough where it makes sense to leave it like that. And then we're getting these heavy objects down from the top of the kimchi fridge. She wasn't really sure what's going on there. So she's going through all of that while I continue working in this corner over here. And just by going back and reorganizing things in a way that's very thoughtful, we cleaned out that empty cabinet. We're just going to leave that empty for the time being. Meanwhile, Dari is trying to reach up to the very top corner of these cabinets and Dari and I are both tall, but it is impossible to reach up to the top of those cabinets. So I want to know who designed these cabinets because stuff gets stuck back there. You can't get it. It doesn't make any sense. So we're continuing taking everything out of the cabinet. I'll show you the other cabinet that I just skipped over in the far corner in a little bit. Right now, we're pulling out, there's medicine mixed up here on the top shelf. There was food, there was Tupperware. So we're just kind of grabbing it all out and creating a complete disaster in our kitchen because that's totally normal. And this is what I mean. Whenever you don't have a system that works for you, you find miscellaneous objects like this Tupperware mixed in with your medicine or that's a top. And then you have that's a bag of candy on top of the medicine. So we're going to try and create a system for her that works a lot better. So I'm just putting all of the candy in this basket temporarily right now to help us move over to the real work, which is getting all of her medicine organized. And this is the point where a lot of people would say this is a gentle nudge to remind you to get everything organized and keep going when it gets hard. But I'm not going to give you a gentle nudge. I'm going to tell you the truth. This stuff is hard work and this part where you're organizing and going through every single bottle, checking the expiration date, trying to organize it in a system that works for you, this part is really shitty. <laughs> but you have to do it and you just gotta toughen up and I know you'd rather be watching a K-drama or eating chicken, I would too, but you have to do it. This is what's going to make all of the difference and if you skip this part, your house is just, you're never gonna find anything that works for you. It's going to constantly, constantly be disorganized. So do the hard work, stick with it, Grab a glass of wine if you need to, but I guarantee that your house is going to be less chaotic and your mind is going to be less chaotic. So get in there and get it done. That's what we said in Texas. Get her done. <laughs> it's terrible. So Daria got it done. And now we're moving on to the candy. And this is where Daria was telling me that she didn't even buy this candy. It's just constantly given to her kids. And what I learned in this is stop giving candy to kids, guys. They don't need it. Mom's already overwhelmed, so let's just not contribute to that. What we're doing is trying to use these empty baskets. So ones you wanna keep, put in here. Okay. And trash, for now, trash will go in here mm -hmm. just to help us get rid of stuff. So she's going to continue sorting through these, trying to keep anything that she can, but trying to discard as much as possible. And we were able to get rid of this entire sack of candy that had been given to her over the months. This is going away. It's going to feel good. And look at all of these organizers we pulled from her cabinets. So keep in mind, this is a very rough organized. This is not going to stay here, but we're just trying to get it under a more controlled state before moving on. So now we're gonna start tackling all the food and we're pulling all this food out from all the corners of the kitchen. We are producing more chaos in the kitchen because it's gonna come together later. 
We're also going to start tackling her alcohol because I think we need this cabinet for other storage. And look, there's even more food mixed with the alcohol breakfast items. So we want to pull all of that out. And at this point, Dari and I had been out this for a long time and we're getting a little loopy. Ah, <laughs> uh, you want gold spoon, silver spoon? Oh, it's need spoon. The fight. Because it's the same shell. <laughs> it's the same size. <laughs> so tired. Do you want a glass? <laughs> Special from Russia, not silver, but we're not sure what it is. Wait, what's the what's the Russian word? Melchior. Melchior. This is what they did. I do it right? Melchior. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> of course, Melchior. sort of, April. Ish. Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> we got many knives. We're actually going a little crazy. It's getting late for both of us. It's I think that goes with alcohol. You keep your silver with your alcohol. That's what I would do. It, it only makes sense. If anyone breaks into Daria's house, the spoons are with the alcohol. <laughs> and with all the Chinese liquor. And four bottles of whiskey. It's practical. What are you going to do with all this? <laughs> She's going crazy. <laughs> Look at uh, the chaos. Okay. This is some Russian stuff. Whoa, I what's have. this? For Your Russian my dolls. Grandmother. Nice Russian. <laughs> you did you do a guy nice Russian accent? Uh because it's what natural. Is... <laughs> I don't have to try it. No, I have to switch. Thing. I use that for Christmas decoration. Okay. And this it goes on I your head. I go crazy. <laughs> I go crazy. No, I don't know what. Mom month that. going strong on the channel. <laughs> we found all of these things with her rice. So we're going to put these all into the same cabinet and into this back cabinet where it's really hard to get to because she doesn't use them often. So it makes sense for her and for her kitchen. Snacks you got over here. Oh, that taco star. My favorite 7 Eleven snack. Baby snacks, love these. Shulka, Shulku, Herring, Rika Gold, <laughs> Herring. From Russia. It's not. Not from Russia. From. Inchan. Her Tupperware was one thing that was kind of all over the place. So we're trying to create one basket for lids and one basket for the bottoms. This system works for me. Hopefully it works for her. The kitchen is uh, tougher than I thought. Do you want to stay over? <laughs> <laughs> So this is where we couldn't figure out where it made the most sense to put her Tupperware and I, she, she didn't want to bend down to get them, but honestly we didn't have a better solution for these. So I'm forcing her to put them down here because I really think this is what makes the most sense for her kitchen. Let's do low for me. Right. I'll listen to you. And then we're using these extra baskets that she had to put all of the miscellaneous kitchen items together so that they're not running wild around the kitchen. They are contained. Emptied the space. Now we're going down here. Okay. We have extra shelf is all of our extra stuff. Your job is in there. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna work on this because we're both getting a little loopy and it's time for sleep soon. So we're gonna clean this up and I'm gonna put it in here. These we'll put up later, but we just don't have any other space for them yet. But actually, we're gonna quickly tackle this rice shelf because I think it'll be the easiest one to get done and feel like we have that small victory. So this is her rice shelf, which she'd already tried to organize and it was pretty good for the most part, but we're going to try and make it a little better. This was the other shelf to the left of the stove where she had a lot of kind of rice going on, some oils going on, baking supplies going on. So we're gonna try and organize these so that we group them together by their category and especially by how she uses them in their kitchen because when you're working in a foreign kitchen, we all have different diets, so we have to take that into consideration. This is what we came up with here. It's by simply regrouping these together. We put her rice and different pastas that she doesn't use often in the back. These are rices and beans that she does use daily. And then we have this big rice box, whatever you call it, jug, 
we're going to pull that forward because she uses that regularly. This is pasta up here. It's all kind of grouped together. And then we have ramen and curry or ramen if you're in Korea. We've put that here together. And now it's time to celebrate that small victory because it looks so good. But most importantly, we had a small victory, which means hope is on the horizon. All right, a little champagne is going to get me through <sighs> this. Why don't you use this for your spice drawer? I mean, that is what it's for. That's a good question because it seems <laughs> to be all full with other, other spices things. of my uh, mother-in-law. Ah, uh, okay, she uh, took them she, out. Yeah, when she moved out, I haven't uh, okay. go through that. Okay, yeah. so now we can add spices. So we'll do that later. This is going to be, I'm thinking baking and oils, because they're so big. Mm -hmm. Oil bottles, so we need a space to put them. This is all all of your baking stuff, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. Any... Cheers! Cheers for organizing yeah. our life. 2014. Look at this. No, and I will translate for you guys because I speak Russian. She just said the ex expiration date was 2014. 2014. And this is just one thing I have that old. Everything else is not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to look not that bad. <laughs> just one thing. Well, you know, you just said as we were cleaning up this, you're like, ah, oh, because I'm so unorganized, I don't know what I have, so I buy more or expire. So that's another reason. Getting organized will save you money. This is her new baking cabinet. So up here we have flours and sugars. Down here in the very back, we have soup mixes to the left and to the right we have other baking supplies. Here we have all of her seaweed and then oils to the right. And I was able to put all of her oils in this spice rack. Back to the pantry. Cereal. 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 Pretzels. Cereal. Anything else for breakfast that you have? Okay, cereal. okay. So we do have a lot of cereal. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put it over here. It made sense for her to have this section of the cabinet all for breakfast food. So we're just kind of combining all of the cereals and even breakfast juices and oats all in this space. And right now, keep in mind, this is just temporary. We're just trying to contain the chaos as best we can right now. And we might change it later, but for now, that's so much better. But we're moving on to the other food that we need to categorize. And her tea shelf and coffee shelves, we need to go through this too. I'm going to reuse the basket she has right now because we cannot find anything that fits in these cabinets. So if you guys have anything that fits in Korean cabinets, please send me the link. This is what we came up with right now, reusing what she had. And keep in mind the top shelf is going to change once we have once we have a better home for those. But doesn't it look so much better just by reorganizing the food that she had in a way that makes sense? Chips with chips, nuts with nuts, whatever you like, you do. <laughs> but look at the stuff that we've been able to get out of her house. Daria just asked me, these expire next week, do you want one? <laughs> That's your last chance. Yeah, I still have one week left. <laughs> I want you to say that I found these with your coffee. <laughs> Because I'm saving it in case I don't have anything to eat. <laughs> she just told because me. Because this is chestnuts, right? You can eat chestnuts. <laughs> and these are, how do you call that? Pine, pine cone. Pine cone. In Russia, okay, I'll stop here. No, because I want to know about the. think that Russians are really weird I want to know. You just told me. It's fascinating. Uh, yes, in Russia, they do. In Siberia, they eat pine cones, but very, very young ones. The, maybe I think they're green. They make jam from it with a bunch of sugar and um, stir and cook them. Pine cone jam. Yeah. Where should we put these? Next to like the Let's snacks? Let's say goodbye to it. Oh, I love this. We can save the jar though. Okay, we've done here. This is temporary because we need to stop for tonight. So we've done here. We have an empty space up there for right now. She has a secret drawer. She didn't even tell me about. What is that? These are uh, remote controls for. We still have a lot more to do in her kitchen, but we had been going so long. Her boys needed to go to bed and we were both tired and hungry. So it was just best for us to stop for the night. So this is temporary. We are going to come back for another last day to tackle her kitchen and get it more organized, but it already looks so much better. And at least it's a start and giving her hope that there is change on the horizon. So stay tuned. We'll be back for another episode.